Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about a project that I just completed that I wish that I would have done at least uh, five, six years ago uh, when I purchased my 519 material cart and uh, hooked it to my 2305 uh, compact tractor. And uh, the 519 cart comes with a regular hydraulic system and you typically pull the lever, pop the top, dump the material out, get on your tractor, pull it ahead so the material comes out, then jump back and relatch the, the cart and then you're off. So in a normal situation I was getting off the tractor at least twice um, while I was doing leaves and I have a large lot with a lot of trees. And so I was on tractor forums and was reading about the aspect of taking this 519 cart and making it hydraulic. And it seemed like a really simple project and for some it probably is and for others it may be a little more challenging. Um, <clears throat> so I did a lot of reading and what I decided to go with after reading was a uh, inch and a half bore times a six inch stroke and it's a what they consider a, a welded um, hydraulic and I'll show it in a minute and uh, then I had to buy my lines and originally I measured between my hydraulic system here and my cart and I thought I needed around seven feet luckily I was at tractor supply and they already made these lines um, in 10 feet intervals and so I bought 10 feet and 10 feet end up being the perfect number I also went with 3 8 inch hoses instead of quarter inch hoses and my fittings on the end are um, 3 8 to 1 quarter inch uh, to get into the John Deere um, hydraulic system so that was probably the most challenging part if you have a hydraulic company in your neighborhood I would recommend you go to them I was able to go to Napa and I had a very helpful Napa guy um, that uh, hooked me up with the, the 90s and the uh, fittings that I needed to finish this job. So um, knowing all that, um, I'll go ahead and display how it all worked out. Um, the one final thing is once I had it all together, the tin work on the front of the 519 is very thin and um, I quickly realized that um, it was bending it a little bit and I did see where some people mounted it without reinforcing it But my brothers that own a machine shop called Jeb Modern Machine um, Were able to manufacture and reinforce it. So if you look down here You can see where I have a reinforced brace on the bottom at, at the front of that hydraulic and It turned out absolutely beautiful and it's going to work great. So let me start the tractor and I'll show you um, how well this works, it's not too fast, not too slow, um, and it has really made picking up leaves a lot easier. One of the things that I was able to buy was also uh, this piece of yellow cord. It's very flexible, but it's also bendable, and that helps hold the hydraulic out of place and out of the way so it doesn't hit the ground. So all in all, a great project. It's awesome. Highly recommend doing it if you haven't done so, but you may need the help from a machine shop or uh, a hydraulic shop to help you with, uh, um, with this project. One last shout out, um, I used uh, um, a company called Northern Hydraulics and the spokesperson I spoke to was very helpful and so if you have any questions they'll walk you through the product and uh, tell you a lot more of the specifications. I hope this was helpful, I enjoy it and uh, have a great day.